Blight Soup is an incredibly powerful food item in Fallout 76, which I can recommend to anyone using a VAT-centric build, using VAT criticals to gain yourself lots of damage. Because this thing gives you plus 20% more crit damage, which is pretty awesome. But if you have the herbivore mutation, you can actually pump that up to plus 40% crit damage, which is equivalent to three levels, three ranks in better criticals. Obviously, there's a lot of synergistic value between these two items, so make sure you grab better criticals and eat the blight soup with... Um, with the herbivore mutation to give yourself the best critical damage possible and to keep that damage pumping out because at this stage of the game you're going to need every single point of damage you can get. Side note, don't use bloody mess because the 50% applied as an additive bonus basically gives you nothing. So that gives you three uh, perks free to chuck on quick hands instead. Quick hands is, is fairly powerful now even though it doesn't proc all the time. I find it to be a lot more useful than bloody mess. Now that you know the value of this thing, I'm going to show you how to get it real quick. Hello, this is Captain Food Build. In my Stealth Commando guide, I mentioned a food that I recommend for all Stealth Commandos. Provided you've got the herbivore perk, this particular food gives you 40% more crit damage. And that's what you need to craft it. It's called Blight Soup. And the way you obtain that is, uh, it, it's it's piss easy. So what you want to do is go to the Big Bend Tunnel West. If you are not close to here, when you log in, usually a fast travel to here is free. And you only have to, you know, use 10 or so caps to get here. And once you're here, you want to go find some trees. Because the blight is like a mushroom. It sort of glows. And it glows on the trees. There's some blight right there. Now, before you pick that up, what you want to do is chuck on something like a uh, green thumb. And then when you harvest these off the tree, you get two. So just go around these surrounding areas. You'll find a bunch of mushrooms on the things. You you know, you pick them up. There's a lot more actually over here. Just a quick math reference. So around this sort of area. But you'll find that when you've got quick, hand, uh, quick hands, green thumb. That's the reload perk, quick hands. Um, with green thumb, I've already picked up six, which is going to be heaps because the thing about the blight soup is that you can actually craft it um, One blight the mushroom is Is equivalent to one blight soup. I think I aggroed something back there and look there's some more over here So I'll just walk over here pick these up Quick math preference right here. Very nice. And yeah, that's given us how much eight ten somewhere around there I'm not, I haven't been counting but now what you want to do is grab yourself some dirty water. There's a mutant hound. That's fine. But dirty water is easy to find because it's one of the ingredients that you'll need. Um, you'll need to boil it, of course, but, you know, it's easy just to find some water just over here. So you can collect some of that. You, if you've got a survival tent, good. You can shortcut the process a little bit. Provided you've got some wood, you can give yourself some boiled water, which is helpful. If you want to increase your yields of... Um, the blight soup what you can do is chuck on soup dupe, which I do highly recommend because you know You could get yourself 12 or so units of blight soup and you've set yourself up for the next 12 hours So we'll quickly spam those and we've got nine blight soup there Keep in mind we had what five before because I had six and I ate one because I could and now I've got 18, and that's going to last a long time. In fact, it's so efficient that most of that will spoil before I get to it. But that only weighs 0 0.5. So, you know, using through, through Hiker is fucking pointless here. And don't even bother with Good With Salt, because you always know where to find some more around this area. Generally, it'll last you enough time to um, give you, you know, what you need out of them. You know, like I said before, this thing... These would totally spoil by the time I'm done with them, but by the time I'm done with them, I'll be, you know, it'll be the next day because, you know, I don't spend 12 hours playing this. Anyways, that's about it. A um, little bit of a guide there just to clarify a few things that I kind of missed on with my Stealth Commando build guide. 